We have another guest in studio for our countdown to the Solheim Cup, Mr. Brian Crooks, the GM of Renaissance Toledo Downtown Hotel. Brian, you're born and raised in Toledo. What does an event of this magnitude mean to you as a Toledoan? Uh, it's a lot of pride. I, I think that uh, what Solheim Cup means Toledo is uh, means to Toledo is more than just a golf event. Uh, we've We've seen a lot of construction happen, uh, not just downtown, but around the city. And it's happening and it's being expedited because of the golf tournament and because of the fact that this is a showcase for our city, uh, not just around Ohio and the Midwest, but uh, it's a global showcase uh, to show what we can do. Uh, so I've always had a lot of pride for this city and, and I think it's our turn to, to really shine globally. And the Renaissance Hotel will serve as the host hotel for Team USA, Team Europe and other VIPs coming to the Northwest Ohio area for the event. What are some of the things that you guys have tried to check off your list ahead of Labor Day? Yeah, we've been planning for Solheim for a little over three years now. Uh, we've been working with the Solheim team on what it's all gonna entail, uh, not just to have the players, but the caddies and, and, and the other VIPs with uh, the Solheim team and Solheim committee uh, and, and their sponsors. We're really excited to have them. Uh, we think we have the right place to be right downtown with all the events going on around it. Uh, but a lot of time and effort has gone into just making sure we get it right. What do the players want? Where do they want to be located? Uh, how do we make sure we have a safe, secure area to be uh, the week of the tournament? And we're really excited to host them, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And you yourself have sat in on many of planning meetings for the city of Toledo, just with all the different construction leading up to the event. How great is it going to be when the construction on Summit Street or Door is going to be done? Just, just walk me through how much better the community will be off leading up to this? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. They've been working on a lot of these projects for, for several years now. To, so just to see it come to fruition is going to be really exciting and really to put a ribbon on top of all of it with, with this great event that we're going to have downtown uh, the week or the days before the tournament uh, and then the week of the tournament. Uh, I think it's going to be great just to showcase our city and uh, what a great way to do it with a finished product. The main thing is the golf on the course at Inverness Club, but there's going to be a whole lot of hoopla leading up to it, especially downtown. Just as a Toledo in the last decade, the, the turn that downtown has made, just having an event with Gwen Stefani and other concerts, it's kind of going to blow everything out of the water. Yeah, I think it's one of those uh, Toledo proud opportunities for us. Uh, you know, people who are from here, people who live here now, uh, we can now proudly say we're from Toledo. Welcome to our city. Um, and events like this, it's just another great way to showcase what we can do.